On Thursday, July 27th, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, you can register for the remainder of your classes. You are allowed to register for up to 16 hours. Let's assume that you have already completed your course schedule plan, that your plan was submitted and approved, and that you registered for up to 5 hours on Tuesday, July 25th. To register for your remaining courses, you will want to click on the registration link from the student section of my.wafford.edu. I'll do exactly what I did when I registered for 5 hours and click on the register for classes link. I need to make sure fall 2023 is selected before I press continue. Now I can select the plans tab at the top of the page. After I registered for classes on Tuesday, I updated my course schedule plan by removing the courses for which I was able to register. I also updated my plan since two of the classes I had hoped to take filled during the first phase of registration. Since those sections had no seats available, I added other sections from my backup plan. Remember that once my plan was approved the first time, my advising hold was released. So I do not need to seek further approval when I make changes. Now I want to quickly add the remaining courses on my class schedule plan. Once they are all added, I can hit the submit button and hope for the best. It is very, very, very unlikely that any student will be successful in finding a seat in all of their first choice classes. But let's pretend that luck was on my side. I can expand the view to see that I was successful. Most students will receive an error attempting to register for at least one section. This is why it is so important to be prepared with a list of backup courses and sections. If you haven't already watched the video on registering for up to five hours, please do so again. That video demonstrates all the steps for quickly identifying and adding other available sections. For those of you watching on YouTube, I'll also include a link to that video in the description below. The most common errors you will see are closed section. This means all the seats are taken. Move on to another choice and don't waste time or mental energy being upset. Link error. This means you tried to sign up for a laboratory course but didn't include both the lecture and the matching lab. If you are signing up for Physics 141A, you must sign up for Physics 141AL. Instructor permission. You may see this if you try to register for Spanish 101 but your language placement was Spanish 201 or Spanish 200. You may also see this error if you try to sign up for a learning community but didn't submit an application and receive notification that you were approved. Maximum hours exceeded. No first semester student may register for more than 16 hours. You need to remove one of your courses, but remember that you must register for LIBA 101 and FYI 101. Don't forget that Wofford very strongly recommends that you take a language course in your first semester. Time conflict. This error is self-explanatory, but it can still cause a great deal of anxiety in the rush of registration. Don't forget to check that your lab might conflict with another course even if the lecture does not. The last error we'll review is the duplicate course error. You cannot take two sections of LIBA 101, even if both topics sound interesting. This is the most common instance of a duplicate course error for first-year students. You are ready to register. Don't forget to log into my.wafford.edu about 5 to 7 minutes before 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, July 27th. This can be a very stressful experience, so being prepared with multiple backup courses, being familiar with this video and the problem-solving techniques in the registering for up to 5 hours video will be very helpful. Be prepared, be patient, and be resilient. Those will be excellent tools to help you find success. If you don't find a solution in the first few minutes, keep looking for possible sections using the interactive course schedule or the PDF version of the schedule. After you have tried your best, feel free to write for help at advising at wofford.edu. You, not your parent, should write from your Wofford email address. Our advising team will respond as soon as possible, but please be patient as many students will reach out at the same time.